Hello everyone, welcome back to MC Eternal. Last episode, I don't know if we can actually see it from the building. In fact, I think it's behind this screen over here. We finished building a blaze farm. One that actually works, and it gives us good stuff. And it looks cool. Oh no, I want to go to the ground floor. It's the ground. Here we go. And in between episodes, I did the storage. I'll show that in a second. We'll just recap what we did. So we have our Wither Spawner, Wither Skeleton Spawner in here. So this, we turn this on, it'll spawn Wither Skeletons if it has enough essence. And that'll give us Wither Skulls and whatnot. I have it being transferred right into our storage. We can also see some of the drops in here. Wither Skull Fragments, Drop of Evil, that kind of stuff. We set up the wonderful Blaze Farm. It's not actually Blazes, we're killing, what are we killing? Blazing Juggernauts. And that's what we're killing. They drop the same stuff as far as I'm aware. So, oh, the screens are actually off. This doesn't have any power coming in it. Huh. I might need to hook this up with the um, GPS, but it has the same screens. I had to make another controller because it was actually too far away. Huh. This guy. Uh, how can I? How can I dispose of him? I guess, you know. What? <laughs> Here we go. Check out this. Flop. <laughs> there we go. We have a trollager now. Perfect. Uh, so the storage. Our storage is completely empty from over there. And it is all here. This is all of our storage. What is this? Is this a scarecrow? There's a few of them. These guys are so creepy. Yeah, they can, they can stay there. Just because they're creeping me out, and I'd like to see where it goes. I've, as you can see, I moved all of our cables here. We had a few. I haven't made any new ones, so this is all that we had. I've moved over here. I've got some crates. We might need to make some more soon, because these are... Some of them are filling up. Some of them are full, I think. Yeah. So that's good. Everything we are having get directed into this chest, it then gets put... Yeah, it then gets put into a compacting drawer or a drawer... At priority, if it can't go in any of those, it throws it into these. So, that's perfect. This episode, uh, a few things I want to do. The first thing I should be able to do right now, and that is uh, make a tectonic initiator. What this does is, it makes it so when we put uh, certain ores in, we get like three emeralds, you know. Uh, and for iron, it gives us three pulverized iron, if, if I can find it. Was that it down here? Yeah, it gives us three pulverized iron. Oh, it also needs... Or does it make that? It needs this. Tectonic pet petrothium. I didn't know this. We make this out of this. Pulverized obsidian redstone, that's doable. Hmm. Can I make this stuff? This is a mob drop. From a... From a basalt. Huh. I don't... Where does it spawn? How do we find this? How do we... I want to find a, a basalt. I want to see where they spawn. Basalt? Is that it? I'm trying to see, like, uh, normally they show, like, you know, where... The mob spawns or something. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe they don't. Maybe I'm... Okay. I'll, I'll find out where they spawn and see if that's a doable thing. Otherwise, <laughs> that's a bit of a fail. Hmm. Tectonic petrothium. And that's the only bit that we don't have. Um, is this a byproduct? We can use Essence of Knowledge on Obsidian. And apparently get it. Which might be doable, right? Yeah, let's uh let's give that a shot. So do we have a fluid transposer? Um fluid transposer, we do. Okay. What if I get a XP drain? Um this one here. What if I get this, place this on the fluid transposer? I can't place it because of that. Um, configuration. Here, can I spin this around? Have that be input? Will that go in? 
It was worth a try. Okay, so essentially that's the same thing though. We'll just get a um a tank real quick. Uh a tank that looks tanky. What can we use? What can we use? Uh, I mean, uh, let's just, for now, let's just pick up this and bring it over here. With this, we can open up configure UI, turn it around. We want this to be push. So this is filling up, and now if I pulverize, also that sound was our Pac Man pet. So this apparently feeds us whenever we're hungry. So I'm seeing how this works if I just keep it there and I don't know. I don't know what's gonna happen, but we'll we'll have a look, I guess. Um so obsidian. Let's grab a stack. Let's get it pulverizing. Okay. Uh I'll speed it up. Get her going. We also have the quantum core on. I'll turn that off. Oh, that's why there's no power, because I had the quantum core on this whole time. That's why the screens were off down there. Okay, well we have some. Um does it just work like this? Oh. Huh? Or is that it working? That's it working. Man, that's slow. And we gotta wait on our uh, storage. On our power to kick up. Um, we can see here. Oh, I was filling it up. Hmm. Have enough power. Alright, so the, the problem is our power generation, it has to fill up this quarry. And then, like, I think that's it. Right? Quarry's full, so we should be getting power. I think. Power? Yep, our wireless battery's filling up. But it's also outputting, so this is charging. Yeah, yeah, here we go. Oh, dude, we, we've done it. We've done it. We've figured out how to automate this uh, basalt's power powder. We might not need a lot of it, so... Okay, it, it's doable. It's doable. Okay. We need these bronze plate, which need a compactor. I don't think we have a compactor. Oh, we do. <laughs> I don't even know what I built. <laughs> okay. How much bronze is that? I need two bronze. When did, when, when did I make that? Uh, there's a bronze bar that I can make... See, it's not showing up here, right? I'm looking and I can't see the bronze bar that I'm trying to make. But if I get some copper and some tin, I'm pretty sure I can do that. Yeah, bronze ingot from forestry. Bronze ingot. Yeah, nah, it doesn't show up unless you count a crate of bronze ingots. So I'm just going to make a heap of them. Uh, we need two, right? I believe so. There we go. Two of these. Uh, what else? An ingot? Of... Oh, we had enough. I made a heap when I went and did that stuff. How much pulsating? We only have two pulsating, but... Pulsating is just uh, this plus ender pearls. When I broke that uh, powered spawner, I made a... <laughs> I made a whole bunch of stuff because I was like... Next time I'm just going to make a new one. We're not gonna we're not gonna deal with this picking stuff up, placing it down, which I've literally just did with that thing. Um, here we go. So now we have. Oh, now we have. No, is that not? Is there another step? There's another step. I need some of this. So I might build more of these machines underground, maybe, so I can automate the production of some of this stuff, or maybe. We even make a different facility somewhere. So this episode, I'm wanting to do uh, power generation. I, I remembered what my goal was. So we're going to make more culinary generators, which needed more iron for these guys. I, di I didn't have any iron cooked up. I think I have some now. Uh, I think they're in the furnaces, actually. Yeah, we have some cooked up now, but I wanted, uh, I wanted more because, you know, <laughs> why wouldn't you, right? So we should be able to make this. Perfect. Now, I believe I can just right-click on... No, I need to upgrade the pulverizer with hardened. If I search hardened, um, this hardened upgrade kit. Do we have enough? We need a bronze ingot. Luckily, we made a heap of bronze. So how these upgrades work is I apply this. Now see it has the corners on it, like the furnace does. These don't. 
that gives us this augmentation spot where we can place in our upgrade. And this gives it a spot where we can put in uh, the this stuff. So I'm going to need a magma crucible it, which I want to turn off the output. So we've got a magma crucible it. So we've got to make enough of the. <laughs> that's so cool. Here we go. So I can also grab some of that. Grab some of that. How do I make this powder? Like so. Perfect. So we got a heap of the powder. We put it in there. We just need enough for a bucket. For a bucket. A bucket of it. Um, I can speed that up. I think a thousand is in a bucket. I think. Is there a way to see? It adds up. <laughs> so now I right click in there. And it has the liquid. Let's see how much it uses per... Oh, no, 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 we don't want to do that. We want to get an iron ore, which hopefully I still have some. I do. Uh, I'll grab a stack. Might as well. This is the best we're going to ever get it, I think. Okay. It's going through. Moment of truth. We have 1,000 exactly, and it uses up 100, and it gives us three. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. We might, we might be able to get away with just, like, doing a heap of this once like this one off time and then like from this point onwards it might be fine Ooh. Um, can I speed up that <laughs> I think it's working yeah I can also just put in my my that and then it should go <laughs> much faster okay um, I am going to want to pulverize a little bit more I think here, we'll do this for now. Gives us 17. Okay. Can I not just, like, put in a block of... No. Okay. What happens if I put iron in? No, I can't. I was going to experiment. <laughs> Let's grab uh, so our flux capacitor. Put our flux capacitor in here. Um, I'm going to take that out. I'm going to put in... We'll see how much one obsidian gives us with this upgrade. It uses... It uses none. Right? Or did it consume it instantly? I think it uses none. Okay, so may, maybe it doesn't work on this one. Which is fine. That, that's actually... It's good. We didn't want to use our special powder on obsidian. So there we go. We put that back in. That used it all up. Uh, I'll put that back there. Make the most of our time. Because uh, I used a lot of time when I was uh, fixing up the storage. So, we should have enough stuff to do some more of this. Beautiful. Really beautiful. Let me throw that back in. Magma crystal, throw that back in. Uh, yeah. Put the iron back in. Okay, okay. So, basically, this stuff I can just cook up. No stress on that. Because I don't think there's a way to then double the, the output again. This is making more stuff. This is making more stuff. We can leave that for now. We should have enough, more than enough iron for our culinary generators. Oop. Culinary. I'm not sure how many I want to make, but we're going to make a few. At least eight, apparently. <laughs> okay. Apparently we had extra. <laughs> I want to make a lot. I want to, I want to need to upgrade our other storage, our other uh, food generation is what I want to do. So I want to have more than enough of this stuff. Cycling through all the different cooked food we have. Oh, is that really all the cooked food we have? What about raw? Here we go. Let's cook some beef up. Beef, beef, beef. Nope, it's lagging again. It does this every so often, but uh, that's, I guess, what happens when your computer can't handle a billion mods. Oh, and we've crashed. Okay, I guess I'll be back. <laughs> I am back. Okay. Uh, this is all working fine. we got some goodies happening. I've gone ahead and I cooked up the beef. We have our 13 culinary generators. So, I would like to grab some cables. 
How much energy cables do we have? We have 23. We're going to need item cables as well. Let's head down. Uh, do I want to build it closer to my new base? Not at the moment. Not at the moment. What I might do... Uh, I don't know. How to, so, as power... Basically, all we need is we need to have these all connected. That's all that matters. And we can move them as long as we bring all the stuff with. And that should be fine. We, we want to have a little... Dude, still making food. He's still doing his stuff. We have a lot of food. We'll, we'll probably need more of him, I assume, in the long run. If we continue doing culinary food. Um, I'm trying to think of how I want to have this set out. Do I literally just want to have it messy? Just so that we have the power generation? What I can do as well... Okay, this base... For the most part, I don't want to break the base because I, I like having it here as like evidence, you know, like, ah, uh, yeah, I used to live there, you know what I mean? But it would be very handy to just delete this part and rebuild around it, wouldn't it? You know, what? no, no, we're not gonna, we're not gonna do any of that cheatsy stuff. I'm gonna take the stuff out of my hot bar for now. Um, I'm gonna grab the wrench. I think we're just going to begin. We're just... You know what? We'll keep this stuff here. The, these are full. But these generators... We're going to pick up. I can put speed upgrades in them too. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Grab all this stuff. Grab all that stuff. I can put the food back in. This chest. Okay. Pick up the cables. Okay, now, this chest, we could have re reallocated anywhere. I'm thinking I build the power generation right up here. In like a somewhat three, like, you know, farm-sized location. Um, so that I can still build farms around it. Like, I want to have symmetrical farms around it, but we can have a spot here where I don't have farms. I think that's fine. So, I think we'll just start right up, yeah? Should I flatten out this land to be at that farm level, or should I have it raised up and then lowered farms? Yeah, we'll have it raised up, because then if I expand more farms around here, they can be down a level. So, it's like, you know, it... I don't know. I don't know. We'll, we'll see what happens. I'll build it here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um... How can we do this? You know what? No, we'll pick those up and we'll move them one forward. You know what I could do? I could have them wirelessly have the food input. Like, wirelessly put the food into them. Or, we might be able to get cables that do both. Transfer items and power. And then we can have it all clean, all on the back. Uh, we'll put three in the middle. Oh. Okay, <laughs> here we go. Now let's have a look at uh, what cables we have. Is We want like a, a bunched cable. So, bundled cable. Exactly, and it's from Cyclic as well. Oh my god, this is perfect. Uh, we need bricks. <laughs> so we need to cook up some clay, I think. Grab a stack, head back into the base. This is good, this is good. I I feel a lot calmer now. I was, I was feeling a bit str... <laughs> I think he just fed me again. Yeah. I was feeling a bit strange because I wasn't sure what to do. I wasn't sure how we were going to go about this. But I think we have a plan now. It crashed again. Okay. Uh, I think it's extra utilities. I think. It, it always says it's extra utilities. But then sometimes it, it doesn't. Like sometimes it says it's a different mod. It's like whatever mod I was just using just before it crashed. It just pins the blame on it. But I think it's actually utilities, because it's happened a few times when I've used uh, the wireless uh, charging. Alright, I'm back. I've picked up the wireless redstone we had up there. So I'm thinking it could be two things that I'm thinking of. One is it's just, it's a bit buggy, and it crashes sometimes. The other one is, maybe these solar panels 
aren't loading in properly, like they're getting unloaded, and so they're not generating enough grid power for the wireless redstone, but they technically are, but they aren't, you know what I mean? It might be bugging out like that. So I'm going to pick them up. Uh, I guess I'll bring it closer. I'll pick up the battery as well. Um, where is it? This guy. So I'll pick up him. He might be like not loading in as well. I'm not too sure. So I'll bring it closer. I won't use it for now. I'll only use it. I'll only hook it up when I need to. And I might actually be able to set up like a different extra utilities power supply rather than just uh, solar. Like what have we got? Mm, any of these? Nope. It'll probably be with. Well, like that, that's the thing. Uh, this culinary generator is an extra utilities uh, generator, but it doesn't generate grid power. That's uh, what we're looking for. So, like these solar panels do. Oh, it gives power during night. Okay. Um, lava mill, water mill, um, windmill, fire mill, creative mill. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. It might just be that it needs to be closer. We'll work that out when we need to. At the moment, I think nothing's really using the wireless RF anyway. Except for my machines in my house, which I've disconnected. So, we needed... Uh, uh, I need to put the clay in. And that... <laughs> yeah, okay. We're going to hook it up. We're going to hook it up. It's fine. If this crashes though, I'm going to be very upsetty spaghetti. We're going to grab all the solar panels. We're going to grab the wireless RF. Oh, uh, no, no, no. We won't. We should have enough that we can just hook up these. Because we have uh, some speed upgrades that we just need to make sure that we can contain. There we go. We have a nice little grid going on down there. Pac-Man isn't really feeding me that much. I think I'm going to put him away. He just makes noise every so often. Um, Where are we? This guy. Hopefully he can make just enough. Ah, oh, yeah, that's all we needed. And we're working on power. So Ah, oh, that's not all we needed. I lied. <laughs> brick. How much bricks do we have? We have none. Do I really need to? I don't want to. How much can you make with the power that you've got in you? Enough. Ah, excellent. Here we go. My stomach's, gr <laughs> My stomach's grumbling a bit. Hopefully you guys can't hear that. I Guess I need some food. Ah, bundled cable from Cyclic. Sounds like the best thing ever. Boom. Bundled cables. Perfect. We're probably going to need more, but I don't think we really have a choice at the moment. Uh, I could just hook up the wireless. I could hook up actual cables. I don't know. I'm back to being stressed out again. <laughs> okay, we'll try and hook up the power generation. Then we can work on getting power to our machines. Hopefully we have enough stuff. So... For now, we can hook up eight, and that'll be more than we had before. So this is this is good. <laughs> this is good. Everything's fine. So we need to have the food that's being made over there, which is fine. I feel like this can stay here, and we can just wirelessly send it over. I'm just gonna get an extraction uh, item extraction. One of these, uh, one of these, and a hmm. I would need a GPS for all of them, unless we use one GPS. This could be fine. Dude, my stomach is going ham. Alright, place this. Perfect. Then, get our GPS marker. We'll place a chest over here. So, what I'm th how I'm thinking this will work, is I will be able to have a crate. Uh, why am I searching there? Crate. Just a small one. Perfect. We can have a crate here, and I believe if I get a, another item extraction, that I can do that, and it'll connect. Perfect. That is exactly what we're going to see. Right. Mark that with the GPS marker. This will, this GPS only has one job. Like, when it's a item transfer like this, where it's only going to one place, I'm not going to bother naming it. Even though I easily could, I'm not going to bother because, you know, <laughs> why, why would I? Um, so, we can't sprint anymore. I'll eat in a second, that's fine. So now this should be getting stuff. These should be getting powered. Perfect. Perfect. And I think it's a lot more... Oh, well, a little bit. It's a little bit more spread out. 
So this is, they're all getting power. They're all making power. There's power in these cables. Yep, 64,000, so they hold the same amount of power. And then, for now, I think I can just get an energy, a wireless energy thing. And I can just send it back over there. This is, this is really, this is some big brain stuff you're witnessing. Grab a GPS marker. Run back over to our previous base, where our batteries are still stored. Alright. Hook up this bottom battery. Um, I forgot what, I think that's power cell. Uh, I'm trying to think back, that's power cell B. Power shell, power cell. Power cell. Um, here, power shell, power cell. It's a power cell. That's the, is that the one I got? Yeah, the multi-dimensional one. Power cell B. Power cell B. Okay. Perfect. Um, here. What I've got set up is I have milk. And I don't have any food because all my food... Um, doesn't exist apparently. Am I crazy? I mean, this is just eating all my food. Yeah. We need one of these. Drink the milk to get rid of the effect. Sleep the night away. Put the cow in the hot bath. <laughs> okay. Okay. I'm forgetting what I'm doing. The GPS. For the power cell. Bam. So now, yeah, we should be pretty much good. Now it's just like finishing hooking it all up, right? We might need more farm. We, we will need more farms. We might need another rat, though. Which shouldn't be the end of the world. It shouldn't be too difficult to get. I'm trying to think of what else I need to do. Uh, okay, I'm going to get another GPS. And I'm going to hook it up to that one. But first, I'm going to run up to... Oh, the scarecrows. We'll go up to the top. Um, find which side this is. Go under here. And we're gonna... Break all these. Okay. So now I can get a battery or something. Energy... Uh, battery. We get a cyclic battery. We might as well use cyclic one where... We've been using them so far, they're cheap to make. Okay, right. cyclic battery will go here. You will only output up. You will be GPS marked. And you will... Oh, i got to call my... Oh. oh no, we don't have enough power. I think that's what's happening. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because, uh... No, well, not yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait. We should have enough power. This should have enough power. It doesn't. Why doesn't it have enough power? Alright, we'll work all that out. Um, this is... Do I have an anvil at this base? Yes. This is... Base battery. Base battery. Base battery. Go back to the ground. Okay, okay. We're gonna hook up some cables. We might need to hardwire it, because I'm not sure if this will transfer enough at a time. Bam. So that's now going to the base battery. Then this base battery, I can hook up with cables. Um, I can use cyclic cables, maybe. Do we want to use cyclic cables? Or do we want to use, like, uh, leadstone stuff? Um, for now, we can. And if it's not working enough, we can easily change. Boom. Everything should be back up and running. Um, all right, I should be able to set up an energy... Here, let's search energy. Um, no, let's search up at RF energy. Here we go. Make one of these. And then I should be able to add this to a screen. If I can... Right click this. I think I want two of them. Um, 
And it probably uses black dye. Yep. So both of these, then I can go up to the top. And oh, all the screens are off. How am I wanting to do this? I would like power to go to this screen over here. Should I just GPS it? That might be the easy option. Let's just GPS it. It's hidden in a wall. If any block should be GPS powered, it's this one. And to brick it up. Um, I guess we'll just jump down. Uh, I want to name it. So I'll probably get another anvil. Um, can this work as an anvil? Is there a way to name these? Oh, I just broke the... Oh my, oh my, and the screens aren't working, so I can't get back up easily. This is a nightmare. Here, oh, they, these screens still work, the ones on the inside. Some, some of the screens are working, and I'm not sure why. Oh no, I want it to be on the ground floor. Okay. <laughs> Thankfully these screens are working. I, I'm not sure why they're working and why other stuff isn't. What am I doing? I'm renaming this. I'll rename it while I'm up here. Uh, screen controller 1. Now I'm going to be real with you. I think there's a screen controller cable that we'll, uh, GPS we've already got hooked up. Because I remember reading the name screen controller. So we might have an issue when we go... I'm going to place this one in this closer transmitter, but then we'll have a look in the other base to have a look. To have a look. Bam. So that should have the screens back up and running. It might not, for whatever reason it's not working. Head over here. Is there a screen controller? Screen controller, yeah. We've already got it hooked up. I guess it's not getting enough power. Because this isn't getting power anymore. Even though I've hooked up that. So this should be receiving power. Oh, but no, no, no. I need to change the side. I think that's how it works. Yeah. Now it's getting RF. Now this is outputting RF. These are all going to charge up. Here, this I can put just about every side as input. I'm not sure if it will affect it or not, but we can do it. Bottom's already. That should be good. Yeah, yeah, look. This is full. This is going to start filling up. That was our problem. So the screen controller is working. Um, what I might do is I might make a whole bunch of uh, energy transfer nodes. Mm, I don't... Mm. I don't know what the play is. I think I can just bring them all over. That, that that might be what I do. Bring them out of this base. So I'll do... I'll empty my inventory. And we should just be able to do most of this pretty quickly. Is what I'm thinking. Uh, these are both monitoring the battery. Do I have any other battery ones? Because I'll just put them away. If not... Right, I'll put them away. We'll fix that up later. Put the bricks away. Stack the milk. We have a clean inventory. Okay. That should be everything. Now I did have a bit of a system going, so I want to keep it somewhat similar. So we can place that there. Um, inside this one, the screen controller I will remove. No, I'll keep. <laughs> because that's numbered. Base battery, power cell, screen controller. In this one, I will place... Yeah, I'll place the rest of this stuff in here. Make sure we have the output to be maximum. So then that's good. Um, screen controller, I think, is in here as well. No, no. I'm confusing myself. The screen controller is inside here, which I can... Trash. Not trash, but put away at least. Then we have the elevator block. That needs power. Uh, we have the farmers and the veggie crafter. 
And sugarcane farmer tree chopper. Okay. How do I want these all set out? Um, we will have the farmers in here. So, farmer one, farmer two, farmer three. Uh, a sort of veggie crafter. That's all the power generation done. Um, this one can have the sugar cane and the tree chopper. This one over here can have the elevator. So, this is like our base system. The power cells, the base battery, the power cell. The power cell is that one over there. So that we don't need anymore. That power cell can go. I'll put that away so I don't confuse myself. Okay, we're getting there. We're getting there. Bit by bit, it's not in here anymore. <laughs> These, I should be able to just pick up with this. Perfect. These, I'll have to pick up as well. Also, not a problem. This battery's just been here, wasting away. Um, and then this stuff stays. For now, at least. And we should finally have a bit of a system going. So I've got batteries here. And power cells. So do I want power cells to be over here? As like a, a buffer? I think I do. Um... How do we, where do I want them? I can put them in the floor. That might look cool. Let's get a 3x3 three three going. And I'll just... Try and not break everything. Okay, power cell. Uh, this, I will set all of them to be... No, set it to be none. And this side will be in. No, this side will be out. This side will be in. And we'll have like a snake system. So that... Side I want to be in. Oh, oh no. That side to be in. Wait no. Let's let's have them all on none. This side in. Oh, lucky I didn't break that down there. That would have been annoying to clean up. We're still on dirt. We're still on dirt. Yeah. Okay, then I should be able to place it there, and it should keep the same input. Yep. And then I kind of want to make a heap of them. Did I put my bed away? Really? No? No, it's right there. I'm blind. Look at the scarecrow. I saw you moving. Um, power cell. Power... Power cell. We have one. We can place this... Uh, this side we want to be... Output. We want... This to be on none. This to be on input. This to be on output. Right? And then we want it like that. Yep. <laughs> so for now this is good. How much to how much would a lot more cost? Prismarine, machine frames. It's so useless. <laughs> I don't know. I, I seriously don't know what I'm doing here. Let's pick it back up. Let's fill this dirt up. And... I don't know. No, no, no. <laughs> We're going to put this here. We're going to keep them... Hopefully they're in the same way that they were before, right? They're definitely not. God, what a nightmare it is trying to use these. What's that? Input, output. What's this? Input. This goes out there. So this one is meant to go here. And this one goes there. Okay, so that's hooked up. We can turn that off. We can make that output. We can make that input. Or, better yet, I can come around... On that side. And on this side. And this should make a loop. Where these aren't useless. Turn that off. Block this up. Turn that one off as well. We should be able to come over here. Make this side. 
input. We can see in the top left it says side input. And then if we can somehow... We're not going to be able to get this one, are we? That's fine, we can just break this. And we want to make this side output. And we want cables there. One of those. And we want cables there. And that should be good. These should all be a hundred. And it should be it should work as a buffer. Yeah, these have all turned up because they've all outputted all their energy to fill up these. So perfect. We put our food back in there. Everything is working. We've got an extra transfer node here if we need it. We've got lots of empty space to transfer more stuff. We have another battery which we'll take back to the base. And I think we, we're somewhat good now. I want to see if we can have the quarry on. Now, a problem with the quarry is it might be... Um, here, we'll hook this up right here. Make it so that... What's up? What way is that? I can't see the, the little tiny minimap. West. We want it to output west. Uh, hmm. Maybe I had this go east as well. Maybe they'll feed off each other. I don't know. We'll see what happens. <laughs> so we'll go to the top. These are back on. They're working. Go to the top floor. The not floor. And we'll turn on our quarry. This isn't working because they've all moved. So I'm going to have to grab all of them out. But what we do have is... Um, here. Uh, let's search energy. Grab two of these. Okay, perfect. This one will show the RF and it will be labeled uh, base battery. Base battery? We'll just call it base battery. And this will show RF. Yep. Um, we'll call it base M. So it's the base battery and it's the main one. And then this one will just show RF per tick, right? And we want to add, add enough spaces to this that it's lined up perfectly. So then what we want to do is these ones, the wireless doesn't even exist anymore. So wireless can go. I'll put it in the network so that if we bring it back, it'll work. This will be two power cells. Okay. Okay. Let's go have a look at the ground floor and uh, my brain's trying to think so it's, it's hard to talk because I don't even know what I'm doing. <laughs> so there should be some ones called power cell there should be a power cell one. We took it out maybe. So that's the base battery. Elevator, screen, farmers. Okay. So it's fine. That's fine. These are for them. So I'll do Power A, power B. So, is this input? I think this is getting it in. So this will be A, right? Yeah, we'll make this one A. Because, I, I do have a reasoning. Because it's the first one. It'll This one will always be the input. And the rest will probably snake around, right? And then the output might change. Does that make sense? Maybe? I don't know. Okay, and then this one should be B. So we should be able to head over. Ignore the creepy noises. Head to the top, right? Head out here. Open up this. And then this is A, B. So we probably want it to be a little bit like this. Right? Base M, that. Yeah? Then I can turn on the quantum quarry. We can see it's draining A. Yep. First battery is getting drained. I think that's what we want, right? 
We want it to be in that order. Last time we had a, a, the different order. So that should be empty. Now it should take a while for power B to get empty, right? Because there's a there's a battery in between. So that's not actually the B battery. That's the C battery. There we go. Perfect. Okay, okay. I've got a, I've got an idea. I've got an idea. What we're going to do is we're going to grab uh, power B. We're going to grab the wireless ones as well, which we can change the name of later, but we're going to go down. We're going to make B uh, actually be the, the middle one. So what would be battery B? So this one. And then our wireless ones, we're going to rename or relabel into power C, right? So head up to the top. Also, it doesn't seem like we're making enough for the uh, the quarry. It seems like we chewed through it very fast. So that's A, then it's B, then it's C. Power, and how do I have it named? C, just like that. And base M, we will remove the space. So that should be good. Oh, uh, do we keep the space so that it like, is lined up with the rest. Should we add some spaces so that it's lined up? One more space, perhaps? Yeah, that looks fine. All right, maybe. I don't know. I can just call it base. We'll just call it base. <laughs> I'm stressed it out. Okay. That's perfect. We can see all the power perfectly. That one's filling up last. Or first, should I say. The quarry... I don't know. Let's have a look. Let's see if it looks like it's going any different. So it's on. At the moment, it should just be like... Okay. It does look like it's going faster, I think. So this uses 20 RF a tick. Or at least per block mined, right? So that means we... 20,000 RF a tick. So we need to head down to the ground. And we need to be making... 20,000 RF a tick. Now, each of these generates 200 RF a tick. So essentially, we need 10 to be going at once just to power the, the generator, the, the quarry, right? Wait, no. 20,000. So that would be 2,000. Do we need 100? 2,000 RF a tick. I think we need 100. <laughs> Do we need 100? <laughs> Oh no. I hope my math is wrong. Okay. Because at the moment, what do we have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. We have 8 at the moment. Look at all the ghosts and stuff we got going on. They're all gone now. What is that? Is that the skeleton horse? Looks creepy. Okay. Now, there's food in these, so we're not too worried. Uh, okay. Oh, here's an idea. We might not need 10, right? Because we have grid power still. If I get my speed upgrades, let's see how this works. How much are you doing now? 1,000. You're doing 1,000 RF fatigue. That is perfect. We, now, we only need 20, right? Assuming we can keep up with this demand of food. So if we had 20, if we had these in all of them, we would be making a surplus. But at the moment, we are definitely not, I don't think. I can go have a look. Because that is a big increase. Let's uh, check our quarry. No. <laughs> no. We need, a, we need a, like that in all of them. And at that point, we're just going to be tearing through all of our food supply. Uh, I will do it though. Don't get me wrong. We're, we're one hundred percent. That that's what the plan is here. We need uh some of these gold. No nope. weighted. Okay. Um, should I math out how much I need? So we need what? That's one thousand. So we need twenty. This is a row of seven. That's fourteen. Fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. We'd be close at that point. 
Mm. You know, I'm going to call it there. I'm going to call that a success. We've moved our power out of the base. We have a new system hooked up. New food system. We have bigger storage than we did before. Bigger generation than we did before. We've moved the solar panels closer. We might try different power because... I don't know. Solar seems both kind of cheaty and also... I say kind of cheaty like we don't have infinite food being made and that kind of stuff. But I don't know. It seems like it's just making something out of nothing. Whereas at least this has some process. Making carrots. Crafting them. That sort of thing. So we've moved the stuff. We have our screen up updated. So we should be generating power again. Perfect. We should be generating a lot of power. Um, I want to, what, upgrade food? Creation, so we have a lot more fuel supply. We're going to need more of this stuff, right? We're going to need to cook up some more. We need more power up here. These are all hooked up, right? Yeah, these are hooked up, but this one isn't. Uh, so that should be right there. He should be golden now. More than enough. Um, let's see how far we can push this. What? Okay, this is on full. Oh my god, it doesn't even dent. That is insane. That is actually insane. Let's get some clay. Let's quickly put the clay in. <laughs> Let's get some stone. <laughs> that is insane! It's not even touching the power. Oh, this was definitely... That was a... That was a good upgrade we've done today. If if you were doubting, like, oh, I don't think we did that much. I hope you've just been swindled. Swayed? Swindled. Swayed. I hope you've been swayed. <laughs> Let's get some stairs going. So we can make some bundled cables. I'm going to go finish hooking up the rest of them. Uh, oh. Ah, ah. We'll call it back down. Hook up the rest of them. So we have even more power generation. Assuming we get more food, right? Here we go. Super power generation. Let's see which ones light up. Do they all light up? No. I don't think this guy's going to get food. How are the rest doing? They have... These ones are empty. These ones are completely full. Oh. Uh, what, what else I'm thinking is... Imagine this, yeah? A massive screen... Or like a whole heap of screens next to each other. And each generator that we have, I number them all. And we see exactly how much food is in each of them. That sounds like a mission, right? That sounds like a really fun mission. A really cool screen. Uh, where should I have the screen? I obviously want it in the base. I want to be able to see it. Uh, do I have it on the top floor? It might be overkill on the top floor. Um, could we even fit it? Where, where would we put it? We could just have, yeah, like over here somewhere. Maybe this entire like back bit here. We have just screens telling us. That sounds like a plan. It sounds like a goal. Uh, I'm not sure what our other plans are. These batteries. So this one has, this one's missing a bit. Going west. This one's going east. That's east, yeah? Yeah. I don't know. Here, if I turn off this, will it fill up? <laughs> Can I turn it off? I think these are destined. Okay, well, no idea why that's not doing its thing. The quarry is back up to full, obviously. Quarry level 17, so it's mining at 17 at the moment. Um... I think, I think, is that it? I can't think of anything at the moment. I'm sure I'll notice something, like a small thing that I was meant to cover in between episodes or something that I was meant to bring up. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, I want to have uh, access to the buttons up here. We're going to do that right now. Before, before we end it, I'm not even sure how long we've been going. We're going to make two more button screens. Uh, we need the black die. One, two... One, two. We're going to have two of these. And... Mm. Yeah, we'll just have two. We'll just have two. 
Um, actually, <laughs> we're uh, we're close to an hour, so I'll uh, end it here. I can't even remember what I was meant to do because I went to do something real quick. Uh, yep. See you guys next episode. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for watching the video. If you enjoyed, leave me a like. If you didn't enjoy, let me know in the comments what in particular you didn't like, and I'll see if I can go about fixing it. If you want to see more videos, make sure you subscribe so it'll show up in your feed. And if you want to be notified, make sure you press the notification bell.